The 2022 Bet Victor English Open champion, Mark Selby. How does that sound, Mark? Yeah, it sounds amazing, mate. Yeah, long time coming, but uh, yeah, over the moon to win. It was a 9 6 win over Luca Brussel. Um, weird match. You, you kind of seemed in control, but he just wouldn't go away, would he? No. Uh, I mean, the first session coming out 4 I was a little bit disappointed because I felt as though I was probably the better player in the first session. I mean, I don't think neither of us played fantastic throughout the match, but I felt like I was a better player in that first session. So to come out 4-4 was a little bit disappointing. But, you know, obviously giving credit to Luca, he grafted and dug in and obviously he could have easily let his head go down at 3-0 and didn't. So you got to give him credit as well. And he did come back and he almost got a 1-4-7, didn't he, towards the end? Yeah, I mean, I was gutted for him. I was willing him on, you know. I played a great shot on the last red to give himself a chance and the black... I mean, it's an horrible shot where he's landed, but it's one of them where it's a natural. He's just got to concentrate on the black and he's always going to be on the yellow. Uh, and unfortunately for him, he just overcut it. I'm sure Mark Williams will be sat at home smiling. <laughs> 19 months since the Crucible and the World Championship um, win. Lots of water gone under the bridge since then, yep. it's fair to say. What does it mean to you to win that tonight? Yeah, everything. I think it's probably my biggest achievement uh, to date, for sure. Uh, I know I've won four World Championships and won a lot of other tournaments as well, but... From literally where I've gone, I feel as though I've literally come from the well and back. Uh, and, and it's been tough, you know, emotionally tough, draining, physically draining. Uh, so, yeah, it's a special one today. And we saw that emotion. Rachel referenced your family when you're in the arena. Yeah. And there was, there was Vicky and Sophia over there. And I could see, as she, as she mentioned them, you looked across at your wife and your daughter there in the arena. And you could see the emotion in your face. You could tell what it meant that they were there to support you as I have done right the way along. Yeah, for sure. I mean, at the end, uh, after I've potted match ball, I've looked up at Vicky. I could just feel myself going and just welling up. Uh, and I did a little bit in the chair. Uh, and also when Rachel was asking me a few questions, I sort of struggled to get it out as well, you know. But uh, it just shows, obviously, how tough it's been. You know, uh, Obviously, if I'd have lost today, I'd have been obviously gutted. But there has still been massive stride from where I've come from to where I am now. But... Uh, yeah, it's just nice to, to actually be on the winning side rather than the loser side with what I've been through. Absolutely. And you've had an awful lot of support. I think the Snooker community has really sort of rallied round all the way. It's all been positive mm. voices. And the crowds here this week, they've been fantastic, haven't they? Yeah, it's been great, you know. I mean, first time we've played a tournament here in Brentwood uh, and I think the crowds have been fantastic, you know. I said that to Luca before we came out all week. I think they've been good and I think they've been very fair as well, which is, which is a big thing. Uh, I mean, I played Carter in the quarters and he's a local boy as well and it was fair supporting both players, appreciate good shots. So, yeah, it was good. I mean, hopefully we come back here again next year. If the crowd's going to be like that, a lot of the players were saying it's not the, the best venue they've played in, but I'd rather come to a place where they probably think it's not the best venue, but you're getting the better crowds, rather than going to a place where it's a, a really good venue and the crowds are not that great. Absolutely. Finally, a fantastic end to the snooker year for you. Um, this must set you up well for 2023, the Masters and beyond. Yeah, uh, I hope so. I mean, obviously, just because you win a tournament doesn't give you any divine right to win anything else. I mean, I could easily go another 18 months without winning anything. That's how tough it is. But, uh, you know, if I can't get confidence from this, then I'll, I'll never get confidence. So I can go to the Masters, looking forward to it, enjoying it, because last time I was there was not very nice thought. So uh, hopefully I can go there with a smile on my face. Absolutely. Have a fantastic Christmas, Matt. You too. Well Take done. Care, Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks, guys.